A body of mass 4 kilograms moves in a straight line across a horizontal surface against a constant resistance of magnitude 9 newtons. The body passes through a point A and comes to rest at point B, 12 metres from A. Find the speed of the body when it is at A. OK, so what we need to do first of all, we need to actually draw a diagram. So here is the part body at A. And here is the body at B. This is 4 kilograms, this is 4 kilograms. It will move 12 metres from A, so B is 12 metres from A. There is a resistant force, so assuming it's moving that way, um, the resistant force will be in the opposite direction of 9 newtons. And obviously 9 newtons this is where it starts and this is where it ends. The initial speed we don't know, so we'll call that u meters per second, and we have to actually calculate this in this problem, and we know that it will be at rest. Basically, it's been going to move this way, and the resistance force is going to make it um, stop eventually. Okay, so we're going to find the speed of the body using energy. So energy at A the will be kinetic energy, which we get from a half mv squared, so it'll be a half times 4 times u, uh, squared is going to let u because u stands for initial velocity. Half of 4 is 2, so it'll be 2u squared joules. And then we'll consider the energy at B. So the energy at B will be again kinetic, a half f times 4 times 0 squared. which is obviously zero joules. So from here, going from here to here, there's going to be an energy loss. So this energy loss moving from A to B is going to be 2u squared minus zero, which gives me 2u squared joules. Now, if there's been an energy loss from here to here, where did it go? Well, the energy went using from the work done by this uh, resistance force in moving this 12 meters. So just... Uh, using the same diagram again. So the work done by the resistant force is, is force times distance, and that's going to be equal to the energy loss. So that will be 9 times 12. The force moves uh, 9 by 12 metres, and the energy loss is 2u squared. So we've now set up an equation which we can now solve to find the initial velocity. So that will give me u squared... Divide by 2, that makes 6, and um, 6 nines of 54. And then the square root of 54 is 7.34. And normally we give our answers to three significant figures. So the final answer will be 7.35 metres per second. So this has been a video to show you how to find the initial velocity of a body moving in a straight line with a resistance force. Uh, using energy. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.